An interesting thing that uh, falls out of the consideration quantum mechanically of a, a particle on a sphere, the 3D uh, rigid rotator problem, is the spatial quantization of angular momentum. What do we mean by that? Well, if you look at um, if you look at the uh, eigenvalues that are allowed for total angular momentum and for the z component of the angular momentum, you'll find that those are quantized. The total angular momentum has to be quantized as the square root of l l plus one. Uh, times h bar. That h bar is outside the square root, where l can be 0, 1, 2, and so on. And the z component, just like we found for the uh, 2d case, the particle on a, a string, the um, z component of the, mag uh, the um, uh, angular momentum has to be in uh, multiples of h bar where m sub l is a quantum number, m sub l here can go from 0 plus or minus 1 plus or minus 2, but instead of going all the way up to infinity, if we just had a particle in a 2D, particle on a string, it's constrained only to go up to plus or minus l. So the maximum value of m sub l depends on what l is. All right, so these two quantities, the fact that the total angular momentum is quantized and the z component of the angular momentum are quantized means that angular momentum is quantized spatially. All right, let's just see that. Uh, suppose we have, let's draw our coordinate system here, our x, y, z coordinate system. Make this x, make this y, make this z. And now suppose we have a uh, angular momentum vector here, and let's say the uh, length of this vector L, this angular momentum vector, but the length of that value uh, L has to be cons can be um, constrained by L, L plus one square root times h bar. So the uh, length of this vector L, angular momentum vector can't be any length, it has to be this particular length where L is 0, uh, 1, 2, and so on. Now, in addition to that, the projection of this L to give LZ on the z-axis here, <clears throat> LZ, the length of that vector projected on the z-axis has to be some uh, integer multiple of h-bar. So this has to be uh, m sub l uh, times h bar. So this vector can, uh, is constrained where it can point in space. It can only point in space in such a direction that the projection on the z-axis can be an integer multiple of h bar. So it could be there or it could be projected up here. So let's actually give some numbers here. Suppose this were h bar, then this up here would be h bar, so the angular momentum vector could point either there or there, but it can't point anywhere in between. This is what we mean by spatial quantization of angular momentum in 3D. Of course, this uh, angle ac around the uh, z-axis can be anything, so really this vector can point anywhere in a cone along uh, centered around the z-axis as long as the projection of the vector anywhere in that cone is some integer multiple of h-bar along the z-axis. And certainly this could uh, be anywhere here in a cone also. But it can't point in anything in between. That's what's meant by uh, spatial quantization of angular momentum. Alright, so let's do a sort of a pseudo problem. Calculate the angle and I put that in quotes because, you know, quantum mechanics is kind of funny, fuzzy and we're thinking about, oh, this is well-defined uh, vectors and so on, but let's nonetheless do that to get the point across. Calculate the angle between the angular momentum vector and the z-axis of a rotator on a sphere for the L equal 1, M sub L equal 1 case. All right, so let's do that. Let's draw our coordinate system again, x, y, z, and let's draw our vector out here. This is L. 
um, our angular momentum vector, uh, sorry, angular momentum vector, so vectors I guess are given the symbol like this, so vectors, vectors, that should be a vector there. Okay. Uh, so, <laughs> uh, pen sometimes has a mind of its own. Okay, so the length of this vector L is constrained to be L, L plus 1, square root times h bar. Now the problem says L equal 1, so the length of this vector has to be the square root of 2 times h bar. We also know that the projection along the z-axis here, this, has to be an integer multiple of h bar. So uh, if we look at uh, that, we say the m sub l value is equal to 1. So the projection of the vector along the z-axis, that has to be m sub l is 1, so that has to be 1 times h bar. So this has to be h bar. This length here has to be the square root of 2 h bar. So this means that this has to be by, um, this is a 1, 1 square root of 2 triangle. This has to be equal to h bar. And for a 1, 1 square root of 2 triangle, this angle is 45 degrees. All right. And again, it could be 45 degrees anywhere around here, so this, this can point anywhere uh, as long and that makes a cone around the z-axis as long as the projection of the uh, vector along the z-axis is h-bar. So that's something that you wouldn't expect uh, if you think about this thing classically. Classically, you could have any angular momentum. It could point anywhere in space. But quantum mechanically, it's quantized. It can point only in certain directions in space.